for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. Today is week 16 of our six month declutter and organize challenge and we are still working in the living room. I'm playing a clip from last week's video when we worked on our TV consoles. You watched me declutter and organize mine and I showed you other ideas to organize yours if you have to house game boxes, toys, board games and other things. If you missed that video, I'll link it at the end of this video so you can watch it next. I have found that at times we become blind to the clutter in our homes. Things get shoved into the corner and because we use it we go ahead and keep it there. But is that really the best place for it? How about those pesky things that we do need but they're really not that attractive? Let's find a place to put these things that are convenient to get to but out of sight. And how about buying a few extra things just to freshen up the space? It doesn't have to be expensive, just a little something something. Okay, I'm showing you around my living room. I have this corner that really has turned into a hot mess and needs to get organized. And I want to decorate the top of my TV console. So we'll do that in this video. And my end table has become a catch-all and I need to find a better system. My little fiddle leaf fig has been neglected because so many things have been collecting in this corner. It's all the things that I need and use on a daily ba basis like the dog bed and the baby bouncer and some of those toys. So I'm going to go ahead and get Miss Figgy out of this corner and into a better spot so that I'm reminded to take better care of her. Thankfully she does have these new branch of leaves. Since I'll be moving everything out of this corner, I'll go ahead and give it a good vacuum and get the baseboards cleaned off. I asked my husband if there's any way we can move the bass from our surround sound over to the other side of the console. This will free up more space in this corner. I hate the looks of the surround sound, but I love the sound of the surround sound. It's a catch-22. However, he's going to go ahead and move that to the left side of the TV, and we're going to sit here and talk to little Waverly. <laughs> Hi, Waverly. Are you watching Coco Melon? Are you watching Coco Melon? Huh? Olive Grace. <laughs> so I put Figgy over here with these other plants. I went ahead and wiped down all the leaves with a wet rag and I gave them all a good drink of water. I think she'll be happier in this corner. You leave me hanging begging for more. I like to keep this basket handy to hold all the things that I use while I'm here on the couch. However, I have had to move the basket from the center of the couch because Olive Grace likes to lay in between us while we're watching TV. So I relocated it under the chair next to my side of the couch. But I think I want it more within reach. So I bought this basket from Home Goods, and I'm going to go ahead and put all the things that I use into it. This will fit nicely in between my couch and my side tables. I'm going to start by organizing the smaller things into these little pouches. I usually keep these pouches in my purse. The green pouch holds my charging cords. The pink pouch holds my medications and supplements. And this blue one is usually where I keep my lipstick, which we're not wearing right now, um, chapstick, hand lotion, and things like that. If I need these in my purse, all I have to do is grab it out of the basket and put it right into my purse. So I really like this system. You think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again 
I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in We've been on and off again and again For more than half of my life, I have used a day timer With the exception of 2020 I was so excited to try out this Erin Condren planner Even before January of 2020 hit I had put in sticky notes to try to decide what I was going to do with all these little spaces. But then the pandemic hit and I could not bring myself to pick up this planner. I was in a bad headspace and could not imagine what I was planning for. I even bought all the cute stickers to go into my planner, which I'd only done one year before that. So I was really excited to use this planner. And that's when I dove into creating my YouTube channel. Creating videos became a passion for me. As many of you know, before the pandemic, I was a newborn photographer, and within a moment's notice, I had to close it down. I also no longer got to visit with my grandchildren on a daily basis like I do now, which was very difficult for me. So needless to say, my channel became my creative outlet, and it kept me peaceful while I waited to visit with my children again. Okay, so since I've been sitting here on the floor, I can see all this mess underneath my couch. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out real quick before I vacuum up the room and finish decorating. This couch is very heavy. It's built on a steel frame. So the best way for me to get all this mess out from underneath here is to blow it out. So I bought this small Ryobi cordless blower. I like it because the nozzle is flexible and I'm able to squeeze it into small spaces. Plus it's not very heavy. So sit back and watch all this mess come flying out from underneath this couch. It's oddly satisfying to watch. Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up See, I told you, oddly satisfying. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get everything all vacuumed up. And I need to rearrange this rug because it's pushed back a little too far. And once I get all that done, we'll finish cleaning up and then we'll get to decorating. Baby with a I'm going to use these Wyman's leather wipes to clean and condition the couch.
today I'm going to change out the pillows on my couch and my chairs. I typically buy pillow covers to cover my pillow forms, but I saw this pillow in the aisle and I had to have it. These two pillows are pillow covers that I bought from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and keep these here because I really like them and it goes well with a long pillow. All these pillows are down filled. If you're looking for a good pillow insert, my suggestion would be to buy the pillow from Home Goods or TJ Maxx because the majority of them are down filled. And then you can use the pillow covers off of Amazon when you want to freshen up your pillow cases. I bought this cute container from Home Goods, and I'm going to use it to hold all those little things that we need, but I really don't like having out. I have these three battery operated flameless candles that I bought off of Amazon. I use them in different areas of my home. I really like these because they come with a remote and you can set it for either a two, four, six or eight hour timer. And you can also adjust the strength of the light and whether you want the candle to stay lit up or if you like the flicker of the candle. These can also be used outdoors. I'll link these and other Amazon products down in the description box if you want to see them. I bought this ceramic candle holder from Bath & Body Works. I'm not sure if you can find it now because I bought it last year, but it's worth a try. I bought these coffee table books from Amazon. I'm on a mission to add a few new amazing books to my collection. This gorgeous book is a coffee table size book and it's very heavy. The pictures are breathtaking and full size. Each state and territory is covered, the paper is Duchess quality, and there is no danger of it easily being torn. It is well worth the money. The message in this book is simple but extremely overwhelming. It's amazing what we see and capture if we stop and look and observe. This book is a reminder that there are clues all around us if we slow down and pay attention. This book is so pretty and I really love the page color and the binding. It's such a cute book that will be so helpful in supporting my new plant obsession. I have a lot to learn, but this book will help a lot. The text is easy to read and it has a lot of great images. I bought these two vases from Target. I like them because they match the shape and the color of my lamps. Okay, so here's the after. I really love the three little vignettes that I've got going on here. And I love the tassel on this box. And I like that I can hide all these little things down here in the box. Maybe I'll 
So now when I'm sitting on my couch watching TV, this is what I see. Down in the console table, I see all my grandkids' pictures. And then up on top, I see all the little things that I love. I'm really liking this area. I also move the dog bed into the corner to get it out of the way from in front of the window. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have, would you please give me a big thumbs up? It lets YouTube know that you think that I'm doing a good job. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. And please leave me a comment down in the comments. I love hearing from you. And if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. On there, I have more time to share about myself and my family. I also do speed cleaning videos to give you a little motivation for the day. At the end of this video, I will link last week's video of decluttering and organizing the console table and I'll leave the playlist for all the cleaning and organizing videos that we have done so far in this challenge. I'll see you again next week. Stay blessed, my friends.